It's reporting, I think, yep. Yep. All right. Now, put it in front of him, wave it around a little bit. <laughs> That's pretty clearly no response. Okay. Put it a little bit further away, just so, you know, kind of move it, see if he's going to follow it at all. No response. All right, good. On the next one, what you want to do, so this is your... This is your conditional stimulus. What you want to do is present the stimulus and the food should overlap it. So basically it goes stimulus, one second, two second, food, both in place, eating, you pull it away after that. So they overlap conditional stimulus and unconditional stimulus. You can pull the stick away after, but we need, the, the biggest hurdle we have here is eating. Like, the better we can get them to eat faster. So I wonder if working with one that's already in the water isn't gonna be a... It'll work, the second trial, you see. Okay. Now he's relaxed now, he's not defensive. Okay. No. So they're really heavily tactile, aren't they? Very. Like, not great eyesight, probably almost no smell. Uh, but if you look at the line of sight from that to his eye, yeah. Before it was underneath, so we couldn't see. It's like right. I, I, don't, I can't see my hand right now. Right, 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 right. As I turn my head, I can. Right, but you, how, but in general, eyesight's not that great, right? I mean, these guys pretty much just sit and wait for food to come to them. No, they watch for patterns too. Oh, mouthful of dirt. Sorry, buddy. Come on, you're almost there. Half inch wet. There we go. Okay. All right, it's the same thing. Got one coming up behind you. Ready? Yep. Watch your left foot. the fastest uh, moving so on the next one I want you to actually like make contact with the stimulus make sure so I'm, I, I, I'm thinking given that they seem to be pretty tactile that's gonna be a big thing yeah sure and try to get the food right into his mouth perfect Okay, good, good. That, that to me looked like it was a little bit of responding to the stick, like it was food. Water. Water. 
water. Water. Water. Water. Water. Water. Whenever you're ready. That's responding to the stick. That's why I told you they will learn quick. It just initially it's all Good. new to them. All right, that's that was trial five. We're gonna do ten trials for the stick and make contact for the next two to three of the stick. Me make contact or let him make. Contact? You make contact. We want as little of his voluntary behavior as possible, because that's the point. This is not operant. This is responding. He's not voluntarily moving to the stick for any of the training process. He's not choosing to be conditioned. Yep. Perfect. So that's six, trial six there. So I'll, um, I don't know how, to what extent you know about the, the general, like, you know, classical Pavlovian conditioning versus Hopper conditioning, what we're talking about, but um, following this, I'll kind of explain the, the, I can tell you a little bit about the general, okay, the general idea. Good, seven. All right, on eight, do the last, the last touch. And then for nine, we want to kind of put the, nine and 10, we want to put the stick in front of them. Good. All right, that was eight. It's going fast now. Just in front, yep, that's exactly what we want. All right, do 10, just a little further away. Go ahead and make contact with it to him, see if he'll, yeah, okay. So let's give him a second. You think he's slowing down a little bit, like, motivation-wise? No. We got a couple of these big biscuits, they're easier. Okay. You got a lot? Forgot to move it. Well, you know, this will be interesting if, you know, if we can get this to work. Well, now, what we should see, I mean, on trial nine, he was already moving towards the stick. So, it looks, uh, to me, it looks like he's ready to go, All right. but you would know best. Um, so, Diaz put the stick a little bit in front of him. So now is when, obviously, we would, we would, we want the response to get rewarded as. Yep. Perfect. That's, that, that's pretty clear. He's responding to the stick as a, con I mean, that's a conditional stimulus and he's voluntarily moving to it. That's sign tracking. That's what target training does. It's not operant. It's not an operant training procedure. It's auto shaping. So now you should be able to move them around a little bit by where you put the stick. Perfect. That's awesome. So this is the only process of auto shaping, you know, the, the aftermath where you have to then use some operant contingencies, which is to get rid of the chewing, right? You know, you don't want you don't want the the uh, conditional response to be exactly the same as un unconditional response. So you have to use the operant conditioning, an operant conditioning procedure to start just getting touching. Good. Yeah. 
And, and you're able to get that just even without, I mean, no clicker. We're just... So when you're not presenting it, try not to show it as much. Pull like the stick up, you know. Don't let them actually see the stick until you're ready to ask them, you know, until you're ready to prompt them.